up, man? It's your boy Church Two Clutch back with another video. Today we're gonna take the Chevy to get a oil change. We ain't talking about this one. We talking about this one right here. We're gonna take that bro ham right there. We're gonna get that blood changed out. New filter, that fresh oil, all that good stuff. So if y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all subscribe, hit that like button if you want to, and drop down leave a comment if you want to as well. But damn, we on our way right now, man. Oh, but first, I'm show you that cold start up. Alright? That pat no gas and nothing like this. So hold on, give me a second real quick. Y'all, we finna pull up to the oil change place right now. The type of oil I use is Castro 10W40. As far as the filter, I'm not sure because I bought the car for my pops, and it's the first time I'm changing the oil, so I don't know what filter he uses, but we're gonna find out. Man, they got some cars here today. Golly. Man. Boy, they got some cars here today, boy. Boy, boy. Boy, she got to get that blood changed, man. Well, I'm going to turn y'all off, and I'm going to turn y'all back on, man, once they get her up in there. Well, looks like it's going to take a minute for us to get pulled in. They got four cars in front of me. They got two bays open, but there's a car in each bay right now. So we're just sitting waiting our turn, man. seen a pack like this in a minute that 10 minute oil change let me show y'all where i'm at where i get my where i get my oil change i'm gonna show y'all where i get my oil change. 10 minute oil change jack's quick lube y'all can see all them cars they got up in there man time for that 305 to get some fresh oil baby i know y'all probably seen the hairline in the background but all that's gonna get redone right here. Y'all know. All that all that gonna be done. So as far as my radio in here, um, I took it out my other one and put it in here to see if my uh AC and heat worked. But I had broke something in here trying to take the little uh it was like a little nut. And I was trying to take it off, and when I did, man, I broke a little piece. So I'm gonna have to look into that. So trying to do something yourself that's what happens but then again you ain't got time to wait on nobody either you know i'm willing to learn how to do things but then again you know you're gonna have some mistakes coming along with that so it just i guess just part of it so just for the future if i want to do something like that in my other car if i just end up getting another box chevy i know what to what to look out for i know exactly what not to do so that's just where that take place Turn y'all back off, man. First time. What is your mileage? Uh, the mileage is 345,000 miles. Okay. Right. Yeah. Hey, uh, does he have a, does he have a scheduled appointment? Do what now? This dude, this man is driving the truck. Does he have a scheduled appointment? Nobody does. We don't have to take appointments. Yeah. Oh, because I. I think he kind of cut it in front of me. You see me parked here. Yeah, I wish he had been pulled behind that car in line. Cause... Yeah, I mean, I was behind that car, but he just came out of nowhere. Right, we're about to pull up. Well, we'll, we'll see if we can move around. This dude right here in this white-looking mini diesel type of thing happened to cut in front of me. 
and I was parked right behind that little car that's pulled that just got pulled in the bay. He came in from his drive through just oh damn I can't talk. This driveway right here and just managed just to make his way right when I was about to pull up. So I hollered at dude, I said, hey man, you people got like scheduled appointments or something? He was like, nah. So I'm like, okay, so dude pulled up in front of me, cut me, you know, cause I don't bother nobody, you know, I don't look for no trouble. But right is right, wrong is wrong, man. He told me that he was gonna try to move it around, but it looked like ain't nothing happening. So I ain't finna hoop and holler about it. Just people these days, they just don't even care, man. So I'm just gonna get this oil changed. Just get up out of here, go back to the house. Okay, we we'll pull it in. Okay, this right here? Yeah, we're one? gonna pull it in right there. He's moving that truck. Oh, okay. Well, I need to drive it in there. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Y'all carry castor oil? Yeah. Okay, I don't use the synthetic, just the regular. Yeah, regular. 10W40. That's, that's, that's 1030. 1030? Y'all have 1040? We have, I think we have 1040, yeah. yeah that's, have that? Yeah, that's the one I'd be putting here. Okay, the sticker said 30, so I don't Okay. All right, finna get me pulled in, man. There she goes. Taking care of that, man. In that oil change. Bring me over, man. There she goes. There she goes. All right. Appreciate you, my man. Let's go. All right, y'all. I'm about that thing, man. As y'all can see, I got everything on paper, what they did. So... Got that fresh oil in there. They put a new, uh, not only did they um, change the oil, but they also replaced it my uh, air filter. So they did that. You know, they do your fluids and stuff, refill it, whatever you low on and stuff like that. So with that being said, man, 305, let's get it. Catch y'all in the next video, man. Y'all stay tuned. Hey, it's just the beginning, man. We rocking. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, I'll see you next video, man.